Hello and welcome back to my Swax Texturing Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to add effects to shapes. So you're going to need to start off with a shape, and I've already created a pentagon to demonstrate this on. You're going to right click this, and you're going to select Blending Options. And the most important um, effects you're going to use is Outer Glow, Drop Shadow, Inner Shadow, and Inner Glow. Inner, inner Shadow creates a shadow effect inside it. You'll click on that to do, change its options. You'll want to know about the uh, blend mode. So the ones I recommend is normal, darken, multiply, overlay, soft light, and screen. Normal just puts a colour over it with a certain opacity. Capacity. Um, darken darkens it like that. Multiply is useful for overlays. Um, to check to do black and white overlays and anyway I'll get into that in a later episode I don't need that um, screen is very similar to um, normal but it's kind of like multiply um, for overlays and then we get to overlay overlay is a much nicer colour it makes a richer colour than like normal or yeah etc inner glow creates a glow created from the outer edges of the shape same blend mode you'll want to know about size size create changes the distance from here to here and you will want to set choke at 100 and I also forgot to mention that you'll have to set choke on here to zero in the inner shadow and size actually no it's size not choke um, distance sets the distance from the uh, edge of the shape and a pace to your, yeah self explanatory um so yes and then you got the uh, pace to of the color on this option um outer glow it's hard to demonstrate but you create an outer a glow similar to the inner glow but from the outside and drop shadows similar to inner shadow but for the outside as well okay and then the satin satin is not one you're going to use very often but it, it's there just in case you do it's like to create a glass effect on things and change the distance and the opacity and so on yep. so you won't really need satin very often but it's there just in case so yes this concludes our effects tutorial i have been sparkster thank you for watching and next time i'm going to go into some more detail in effects goodbye